Well, Afghan authorities say a U.S. contractor has been shot dead in the latest so-called insider attack. A female Afghan police officer is suspected in the shooting at police headquarters in Kabul. More than 50 people have been killed in similar attacks this year by Afghan police or soldiers or people dressed like them. But this is the first time the suspect has been a woman. The attack happened inside Kabul Central Police Station. A policewoman named Nargis shot an American advisor. It is the first killing by a policewoman and will concern NATO officials who point to female recruits as a sign of progress here. Although there's still only a small proportion of the country's 350,000 security forces that are gradually taking over security from NATO. If the United States and Afghanistan is, uh, slows down its training efforts, its joint exercises, its joint training uh, capabilities and, and capacity building of the security forces, then both Afghan, the Afghan government and the United States will be doing exactly what the enemies want. The perpetrator is in custody of the Afghan authorities. Uh, she was dressed as a member of the Afghan Uniform Police, although her affiliation with the uh, police is not known at this point in time. This shooting followed another a few hours earlier, in which five policemen were shot dead by a colleague in the north of the country. The authorities need women in the force. Not only does it give a degree of equality in a massively male-dominated society, in which few women have jobs, but female officers are the only ones allowed to search women. There is a huge need for Afghan police women to ensure security in the country, especially at checkpoints in the search section. The job carries many dangers. Since I joined, I have received calls threatening me with death. They asked me why I joined the police. I'm not scared. I'm proud to be a policewoman and to serve alongside my brothers and bring an end to the misery in my country. There are currently just under 2,000 policewomen. The aim is to have 5,000 by the end of 2014, when most of the NATO forces will have been withdrawn. They receive eight weeks training, including being taught to drive. What is true of the men is true of the women. The more who are recruited, the stronger the authorities become. But this also gives the Taliban more opportunity to get people in on the inside.